What's up everybody, it's a YouTube troll here, and I wanted to come up with another discussion, and I hope you guys will support this little thing I'm trying to do with discussions for new game, and I'm trying to make an educated opinion slash decision on whether I should get this game or not when the more details comes out. Anyways, um, they did mention today that there was going to be two original characters for um, you know the game. Now, obviously, you would know this information if you knew Japanese when the scan came out confirming the game. But since they, they just happened to say it today in English, I said, fuck it, I just saw it on the scan, and I'm thinking, and I'm looking back at the scan, I'm looking like, okay, it's like a werewolf type of Pokemon type of shit. And then on the right side, we have like a Yamato robot. And I'm thinking it's a robot because if you look at it, or like a cyborg, if you look at it, uh, look at the joints of the elbow and like the waist and the knees, like you see that it looks kind of like a robot. Uh, but you have to zoom in with like Sony Vegas or some other type of program. If you zoom in, you can see it looks clearly like a cyborg or a robot or some shit. But, um, excuse me. Uh, hopefully though, these new characters will be actually a cool, um, cool addition to the game and not something crappy that they're just trying to add in there. Uh, the game supposedly will be featured at Jump Festa from you know December 21st to the 22nd. So hopefully we'll see some good shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really trying to see if I can make an educated decision. By the time the game comes out, I want to be able to make an educated decision and see if I could get the game or not. Because, you know, I don't want to spend my hard-earned money on this game if it's going to be crap. Because sometimes, sometimes, no lie to you guys, I feel like Cyber Connect 2 is literally jerking off while they're making their Naruto games. Um, they put all this effort on story mode for Storm 3, but leave our multiplayer behind. For generations, it was like the opposite. But at the same time, it wasn't. Like, they didn't even put any effort on story mode. And supposedly did all this shit on multiplayer, but there was so many problems on multiplayer, you couldn't even count them. Uh -huh. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. Please leave a comment. That's all I really care about. I don't care about the likes or the dislikes or the favorites or anything like that. Just comment. Because I want to have like a, like a little active discussion with you guys. So I can kind of, you know, make a decision as the game approaches its release date. I, like, they haven't announced the release date, but I'm just pretty much giving you an idea of what I'm trying to do. Anyway, guys, peace out. And um, that's it. Peace.